Okay. Hello everybody who's been following our uh, MGC ring job in the uh, car we brought up from California, from San Diego last year. Uh, just a summary, we got the car tuned up in the spring and realized that uh, it was pulling up oil from the bottom end because of worn rings, so that caused us to want to do a ring job on it, which uh, basically we decided to leave the engine in the car as opposed to taking it out. Uh, in order to do that though, we had to use an engine hoist to hoist the engine up so that we could then get the oil pan off. It was still attached to the bell housing. We were able to get it up, get the, bell ha get the uh, oil pan off so we could get at the bottom end. Uh, push the pistons up through the bottom. Uh, the cylinders were in great shape. Uh, very little ridge at the top. Uh, so all we had to do, and they were still standard bore, so what we had to do was just simply refinish the cylinders by using a ridge reamer and a glaze breaker. Uh, cleaned up the pistons, gapped new rings, put new rings on the pistons, dropped the pistons back in, and used uh, new conrod bearings. Then it was just a matter of putting everything back together, hoist the engine back up again, get the oil pan back on, uh, put the head back on after Dad cleaned it up, painted things up, cleaned things up like the manifolds, uh, torqued the head down, set the valve clearances, uh, fill it all back up with fluids, oil and coolant, put the carburetors back on, uh, new exhaust, header, uh, made it with the old exhaust, uh, start the car up, started up fairly easily, tuned up the cars which took about 20 minutes, and the job's done and the engine's ready to roll. Next thing we do to the car is the interior. Uh, over the winter, take it back to the house, do the interior. Uh, then next summer, next spring summer, the bodywork and the paint. Make sure the running gear is in order, such as the brakes and the suspension. There's a little bit of work to do there. And then we're ready to take it to safety inspection and hit the road. Just going to start it up so you can hear how a great running Austin, or Austin Healey motor, actually, in a 1969 MGC, 3 liter 6 in-line motor.